you ask me um, why it is important to promote yoga, I think that it's a perfect way in those complicated times uh, where we have uh, stress, anxiety, uh, people that has been obliged to stay at home for weeks and months uh, all, all over the world and in Europe, uh, the yoga gives uh, a certain capacity to stand back, uh, to be calm, uh, to find a sort of balance and to find a well-being even when the situation and particularly when the situation is hard. Uh, so, uh, just to give you an example, uh, we have produced recently a book about uh, depression. Uh, the title, uh, uh, it is in French, in French, the book is not in, uh, in English, it's about depression and it suggests how uh, do some sequences of yoga postures just to find uh, more energy, more envy uh, when you don't feel like going very good. Yes, absolutely. I think that it's an excellent idea. Uh, in Belgium, just like in France and in many other countries, uh, the people working in hospitals, nurses and doctors, has been overwhelmed uh, by a very serious situation, sometimes a catastrophic situation. So I think that be, uh, beyond the fact of working 24 hours a day, there is also the psychological burden of seeing uh, all these people ill and sometimes dying because of the COVID. Uh, and I think that uh, yoga uh, has a place uh, in all this. Of course, let's be clear, yoga will not uh, treat COVID. Uh, this is absolutely clear. But yoga can help in uh, being uh, stronger and in resisting better when you are ill of COVID, right? Two simple reasons. Uh, the first one is that uh, yoga can strengthen your immunitary system and so make you less fragile when you are attacked by the virus. And secondly, yoga can develop your breathing power, your breathing potential, so if you have a stronger pulmonary capacity, of course, you can resist better uh, to the COVID attack. So I think it's an it's a excellent idea to put together those two universes, yoga on one hand and hospital professionals on the other hand. I think that there is a, a great synergy possible uh, between uh, yoga and Ayurveda and also allopathic treatments, traditional medical treatments and chemical treatments that, that are part of the Western tradition in the last two or three centuries. Uh, what uh, Ayurveda and uh, other holistic treatments uh, can bring is a better understanding and a better listening of each individual human being. Uh, while Western medicine has been developed as a sort of generic treatment once for all, that is to say the same pill is supposed to treat everybody with the same illness, uh, we understand now, and doctors, also Western doctors, uh, uh, know much better now that each individual is different and that uh, you need to have an understanding of his needs, of his, of his, of his fears and of his physical situation. And Ayurveda is just that. The first thing when you do an Ayurveda, uh, when you meet an Ayurveda specialist, is to discuss with him and to do a sort of overview of your physical situation and your mental situation, even your astral situation, and then a treatment is proposed. So I don't think, of course, that uh, we can talk in terms of one is better than the other. This is really not our approach. We, we talk very often of Ayurveda in Esprit Yoga magazine, is a, is a recurrent topic in our pages. We think that there is a, a complementarity, there is a synergy, and you, we can try to get the best of each system. The understanding of individual of Ayurveda and sometimes the power of the Western medicine that is that needs to be better adapted to uh, everyone's needs.